My favorite part about packaging would be probably being the taste tester of the company. Uh, I get to come in in the morning and taste, say, Iron Horse and make sure that those Falconer's Flight hops taste how they should and that the carbonation level is exactly how it should be. And uh, thanks to our quality control, I can test for different off flavors like diacetyl, which tastes like butterscotch, something you don't want in your beer. Packaging entails taking the finished beer after it's gotten the CO2 carbonation in it, it's fermented all the way, it's chilled, the yeast is dropped out, and putting it in cans or kegs. So our canning line runs about 40 cans a minute, 45. Uh, which equals out to about seven gallons a minute of beer going into these 12 ounce cans. We also do six barrels and 50 liters. Uh, so a barrel is about 31 gallons and a six barrel would be a six of that and 50 liters. And those go out to bars around town. I think canning beer is better than bottling in most ways because Aluminum cans are actually lined, so there's no metallic flavor that can be imparted. It's dark, you're never gonna skunk a beer with light, uh, and it's a solid product that lasts a long time. There's a few problems that can arise on the canning line. A lot of the times, there's things like low fills, cans not fill all the way, things break on it. Oftentimes, I'm just getting sprayed with beer or digging out crushed cans. Uh, make sure that the beer is consistent going into the cans, especially uh, any packaged product. You want to make sure there's no dissolved oxygen going in, uh, which can happen easily with cans. Uh, we did have different equipment that will test the rates of that going into our cans. Uh, another big thing is can seams. Uh, they're perfectly hermetic seal, and so I measure every point of that that I can, tear it down and measure the inside. There's different hooks that hook together to make sure that it's airtight and nothing can come in or out and carbonation can stay the same. Making sure our beer is consistent uh, entails, like with my taste testing, making sure that all the tastes are the same, uh, there's no off flavors getting put in, and then a big part is like dissolved oxygen. Uh, oxygen can quickly make beer taste bad, so making sure that we're measuring those levels. And dissolved oxygen comes from, so in the brew house, they want to put oxygen in. Yeast likes oxygen for when it's fermenting, so they eat that up. But anytime that you transfer a beer or uh, like dump hops into it, you're adding that oxygen from the air coming into little particles and it stays in the beer. Uh, you can try and remove that through different ways or try and do processes better to eliminate that opportunity. I think Fargo Brewing is going to do a lot more packaging of different varieties such as uh, instead of doing a few seasonals a year, adding more. Uh, we have our dad's pale ale that might be doing in cans. Uh, people are really familiar with our Jigga Hops and our None More Black and I think that would be exciting to see in cans.